on the book to have the story read to you. Or follow me through the doggy door to read and play in the story. Read and play! Hello, my name is Pongo. The sleepyhead is my pet, Roger. Roger needed a mate, but if I had left it up to him, we would have been bachelors forever. I had my eye on a pretty lady across the street. I also had my eye on that lady's Dalmatian. I decided today was the day that would change our lives. Those spots mean you can click there to play a game. Several people in the building across the street have lost their dogs and need your help. Click on the windows and doors to find the pairs that go together. Right now, you're on level one. Use the elevator to go to a harder game on level two, or an even harder game on level three. Click on the windows and doors to match the people and dogs that look alike. Can you find the person that looks like that dog? That pair doesn't match. Let's try again. That's it! Great match! Oops, that's not a match. Let's try again. Terrific match! A perfect match! You've helped all of the people find their dogs. Look how happy they are! You're a great matchmaker! Don't forget, you're looking for the dogs and people who look alike. Splendid! That's it! Great match! You've helped all of the people find their dogs. Look how happy they are. Thank you. Thank you. Here we go. Next stop, level two. Match the name on each person's sign to the name on each dog's dish. Can you find the dog with that name on its bowl? Terrific match! A perfect match! You're a great matchmaker! That pair doesn't match. Let's try again. Splendid! That's it! Great match! You've helped all of the people find their dogs. Look how happy they are! Up to the top, level three. Level, 
listen to the people and match the name they call to the name on each dog's dish. If you want to hear the person call out the name again, click on their open window. Can you find the person calling that dog's name? Precious? Chase! Dodgers! Terrific match! Gus! Gus! A perfect match! Oops, that's not a match. Let's try again. Chase! Brutus! Precious? You're a great matchmaker! Fido! Fido! Splendid! Lady! Listen to the person call their dog and find the dog with that name. Brutus! Zeke! That's it! Great match! They must have gone for their walk. Chase! Terrific match! Brutus! A perfect match! Lady! You've helped all of the people find their dogs. Look how happy they are! Thank you. Thank you. Ready to go? Click on the fire hydrant again to leave. To play this game some more, click anywhere on the building. Thank you. You've made several people and their dogs very happy. Look, the door is open. Click again on the door to follow the puppy prints to the next part of the story. Huh? <laughs> Bongo, old boy. I 
see you already for your walk. <coughs> Hello, my name is Purdy. The lovely human with me is my pet, Anita. Anita was lonely and unhappy. Cruella de Vil made her work all the time, designing fancy clothes. Darling, what incredible creation have you designed for me today? Oh, it's fabulous. It will make a stunning fur coat. Fur? It's supposed to be made from cloth. Oh no, it must be fur, darling. Fur! Smashing! Exquisite! It's so me! Stunning! Chinchilla or a lovely baby mink. A rabbit or some foxes, as long as they're in boxes. Oh, life would be obnoxious without sable on the label. Cotton is pathetic, and anything synthetic is abominable. I know that you concur. But the fur from a Dalmatian will be the new sensation. An original creation by me. <laughs> Animals are cute. They make a lovely suit, like an alligator boot on a bearskin rug. Rabbits, I just love for the lining in my glove. And along with the above, I love ermine, a lynx, a leopards, a lynx, a zebra skin or elf will do, coyote, beaver, badger too, a possum, squirrel, raccoon, and deer. I don't care, just bring them here! Fur is what I have to have, that's all there is to that. Animals were meant to be a matching coat and hat. A diamond ring's a lovely thing, but still I would prefer a full-length lovely rare Dalmatian Inspiration? Why, yes. <laughs> A touchy, isn't she? for our morning walk. Cloth! Ha! That morning at the park, I arranged for Roger and Anita to meet. My plan went well.
Oh, you won't be needing this candy now, will you? Oh! <laughs> Roger and Anita fell in love and got married. So did Pongo and I. Soon we had even more wonderful news. They're here! Fifteen puppies! Pongo and I were proud and happy parents. We even had a nanny to help take care of our puppies. So the puppies are here. I'll take them all. How much? Well, uh, the puppies are not for sale. When you're done, just put the sponge back where you found it. Thanks. <laughs> Delighted, joyful, ecstatic, happy. Don't you worry, Pongo. Your puppies are safe. Don't you worry, Pongo. Your puppies are safe. Would you be so kind as to get the sponge and help clean this place up? That morning at the park. Roger and Anita. Pongo and I were proud. You're a 
a fool, Anita. You're fired! <gasps> with more Thunderbolt after these messages. Daylight Crunchy Snappy Beach Day Making me a special treat. Happy job for those who meet you. Precious Daylight Crunchy. Oh. oh, I'll be right back. Wait, Mom? I want to tell this part. Hi, my name is Lucky. This is where the scary part begins. One night, while Mom and Dad took their human pets for a walk, some strangers broke in. They tricked Nanny and locked her in a closet. <laughs> no! Stop that! Oh! At the top of the news this hour, there were a number of puppies reported missing throughout the city. Officials at Scotland Yard believe that this may be one in a long line of puppy kidnappings to take place over the last three years. <sighs> Perdita, darling, are you all right? <laughs> of course, dear. After all, dogs were having puppies long before our time. <laughs> Purdy? Purdy, darling? Purdy, we're keeping the puppies! Every single one of them! My old pet Roger, he told that devil woman off! He told her off, Purdy! She's gone! Oh, darling, she's gone for good! Oh, Pongo. children bedtime but we're not a bit sleepy we want to go for a walk in the park dad can we better do as your mother says uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen, i'm not sleepy i'm hungry fourteen hmm Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, uh. oh, yeah! Puppy breath! Ah, oh, yeah! Puppy breath! I bet you can't hit that boot. Bet you I can. And now for the weather. It's raining cats and dogs out there. You have four new messages. Roger, John here. Roger, I realize you call yourself a video game designer. <laughs> but this 
game idea you sent us is any indication, you should really think about another line of work, shouldn't you? I mean, a game called Fun with Algebra is not exactly what kids are looking for. <laughs> So puppies, now don't you go hide. How would you all like to go for a ride? Far from old London to some place that's new. Lots of excitement and fun things to do. Have any treat, cos there's all you can eat and it's free. Yes siree! Get ready for fun, everyone, if you'll just follow me. Dog darlings, now don't you look back Come here to Jasper and climb in his sack We'll show you a world that you've not seen before And what an adventure is waiting in store It's all so exciting and yes we're inviting you to Lucky you! With Jasper and Horace, all puppies adore us Let's sing one more chorus, okay? As we gather the puppies like cute little guppies And take them away Puppy, puppy, puppy. Our puppies had been dog napped. No one could find them. Our last hope was to ask all the dogs of London for help. We sent out the Twilight Bar. Stolen, abducted, dog-napped. All for something like a wish. You want it to come true. It's something that you're waiting for. I hope it comes to you. Twilight is the time of day when the sun's gone down to rest. When folks are having dinner, when birds go home to nest. It isn't light, it isn't dark. It's kind of in between. It isn't day, it isn't night. It's evening-ish, I mean. Oh, Purdy, don't worry. We'll hear about the puppies soon. I have a horrible feeling that Devil Woman has something to do with this. Spread the word through every yard From a great big Dane to a Saint Bernard There's a Bulldog, Sheepdog, Cute Maltese And a German Shepherd and a Pekingese A Boxer, Bowser, Beagle, Schnauzer Russian Wolfhound, Stray A Pug by Garley, Dachshund, Collie Doberman and Cute Sharpe An Alaskan Husky still not through An Irish Setter and an Airedale too A Terrier Scott and next we've got A Poodle and a Pointer and a Mutt There's still more dogs but I don't know how like a Conqueror Spaniel And a pit bull too An Afghan's fab to a great big lab And a foxhound's nice, it's true To a basset hound And next we've found A little Pomeranian too A 
dog. Greyhound, bloodhound, still there's more. Like a lot so up, so calm and door. Two more sweet, sweet than a terrier sneak. We'll shout through every street and park. So they can hear the twilight bark. And help us find our lost Dalmatian dogs. Chimney. What my friend is trying to tell you is that by using this bark o -meter, you will be able to translate dog language into human language. If you want to hear dog language, click on my friend. If you want to hear human language, click on me. If you want to hear half dog and half human, click in the middle. Then click on one of the neighborhood dogs and hear what they have to say. Have fun! Thunderbolt, hmm? please. Oh, I shouldn't have ate all those canine crunches. Oh, my tummy. Oh, I have a horrible feeling that. Devil woman has something to do with this. Hmm, what's that? to do in the puppies tonight. Let's get to it. Oh, those poor little puppies. I knew it, Cruella, all along. How much further, Pongo? Don't worry, Purdy. We'll make it. Get those puppies! <laughs> Get those puppies! Yikes! Uh, 
Hello, my name is Kipper. I see you heard the twilight bark, too. Together, we can open this gate to the Mansion de Ville. The code box is set at level one. For harder clues, press the number two. For even harder clues, press the number three. The animals in the area will help us crack the secret code. Their animal sounds are the clues, so listen carefully. If you want to hear a clue again, just click on me. Here's the first clue. What animal made that sound? Look for that animal here on the note. C. I knew you could help. Here's the next clue. You. Good job, friend. Here's the next clue. H. Give that one another try. Here's the clue again. T. Cut. Correct code entered. Lock one unlocked. That's it. One lock down, two to go. Here's the next clue. Level two selected. Here's the next clue. What animals made those sounds? Look for that row of animals here on the note. W. <laughs> You're good at this. Here's the next clue. I. Excellent code breaking. Here's the next clue. N. That's great. Here's the next clue. D. Wind. Correct code entered. Lock two unlocked. We're almost in. Only one lock left. Here's the next clue. <coughs> Level three selected. Here's the next clue. Yes. Wonderful. Here's the next clue. C. I knew you could help. Here's the next clue. H. Good job, friend. Here's the next clue. <coughs> oh. <laughs> You're good at this. Here's the next clue. Oh. 
excellent code breaking. Here's the next clue. L. School. Correct code entered. Entrance granted. You did it! The gate is open! To continue the adventure, click on the red fire hydrant. To play this code game again, click on the security box. See you in the mansion! Boris, look! All their puppies gone away! Well, let's find him then! This is where the story gets really scary! A brave terrier named Tipper heard the twilight bark. He knew the bad guys were hiding us in the DeVille mansion, and he came to rescue us. Can you help Tipper find us? Some of us are waiting here, and the others are hiding upstairs! Heroic, courageous, valiant, brave. A terrier is a kind of dog that jumps and runs and hunts. They're very smart and learn a lot of tricks and clever stunts. When you rescue someone, you save them or set them free. They used to be in danger, but safe's a nicer thing to be. I'll feel a whole lot better when all these poor little pups are back home safe and sound. Boris, the missus don't like to be kept waiting. Get out there and look for them pups. Who made you, boss? I'm taking a break. You go. Shh. You want to scare them pups away before we get them? It sure is dusty in this library. Have to! The puppies must be hiding in here. Look, there's a note. It must be from the puppies. Those smart little pups left us notes to help find them. They couldn't just tell us where they are, or Horace and Jasper would be able to figure it out. Let's see. Find something that looks like this. You're now on level one. Click on level 2 for a harder game, or click on level 3 for an even harder game with riddles. Click here to put the note away. Excellent! Look, there's another note from the puppies. Find something that looks like this. Here we go to level two. Looks like we've got to find something that starts with the letter on the note. Click on the thing when you found it, and you can always click on the note to see the letter again. Find something that begins with the letter T. Glow spider web, ladder, anchor, window, Vase, organ, cup, chessboard, glasses, ruler, drawer, key, chair, magnifying glass, plant, 
fireplace. Trophy. Excellent. I think I see another one of the puppy's notes. Find something that begins with the letter P. E. Up to level three. It's a riddle. When you figure out what we're looking for, click on that object in the room. Of course, you can always click on the note to see the riddle again. Spun by a creature with eight skinny legs, and softer than silk and more fragile than eggs. Perfect! This way! Look at the bookcase. Clicking those things must have opened that secret passage. This is creepy. No one's lived here for years. One drop of me is plenty. Too much might make you sneeze. My scent is very sweet. On your neck or behind your knees. Yes! Good job! There's the next note from the pups. I brighten objects far and near until I melt and disappear. Curtain, candle. Yes! Good job! Look, there's another note from the puppies. Tickle me, I'll never giggle. Pinch me, I won't make a sound. I don't wink or walk or wiggle. All I do is stand around. Trunk, dress, statue. Perfect! Come on, we're in here. Look, that secret staircase must lead to the attic. The puppies are sure to be here in the attic. Here, take this flashlight and use it to find their hiding place. You rescued us! Yay! Yay! Oh, right. <laughs> You've rescued the puppies! Ready to go? If you want to leave, click the red fire hydrant again. If you want... See you downstairs! <coughs> Whew, that's the last of them. Thanks to you, all those puppies got out safe and sound. There's just a few of us left now. We'll wait right here for you. You go on ahead. I'll gather up the rest of the puppies and meet you in the barn. We really missed our mom and dad. Boy, were they surprised when they found 99 of us instead of 15. It turned out that Cruella had stolen a lot of other puppies besides us. Our parents had found us. But our happy day was spoiled when that mean Cruella nearly caught us in the barn. I'll find the puppies myself! Nasty, malicious, sinister, mean. Spoiled means that something came and made a good thing bad. It turned a lovely, happy day into one of the worst we had. A barn's a great big building that's located on a farm. The cows and sheep all live inside, all cozy and safe from harm. And also in the barn, you'll find a lot of hay and oats, which is useful when you want to feed the horses and the goats.
Just when we thought we were safe, Cruella appeared. We had to think of something fast. That's it. We'll cover ourselves in black, dirty soot. They'll think we're Labradors, not Dalmatians. You want us to get dirty? Just this once, dear. Now it's your turn to get dirty! Quickly! Lickety split! Pronto! Fast! When you're safe, you're not in danger. You're secure, and you're free. You're snug, and you're protected. Just the way you ought to be. Something appeared when it came into view. You could see it quite clearly, right there facing you. Someone appeared who arrived on the scene, such as Pongo, who's nice, or Cruella, who's mean. themselves. Oh, Warris. Dogs ain't that smart. Oh, we could certainly use your help. 
Dirty the puppies so Cruella can't recognize them. Then put the soot back on the pile when you're done. What are you doing? Looking for them puppies? You idiot! That's Cruella's car! They wouldn't be hiding in there!
the one you want. Hi, hi, look us up. Just get us away from her. Roger, Anita, and Nanny were sad. They wondered if we would ever be found. Boy, were they happy to see us when we got home. Oh. Huh? Is it an earthquake? In London? No, it's not an earthquake. It's... The puppies! There are more than just our puppies here. It looks more like... 99 puppies! Unhappy. Downhearted. Heartsick. Sad. When you wondered something, you asked yourself questions. Like why do the stars shine so bright? And where fishes sleep? And if oceans are deep? And where does the sun go at night? Oh, I wonder. A home is a place where people live. In a house, an apartment, or shack. And no matter how far you may travel or go, home's the place where you always come back. Would you be a dear and help me? I need to clean all the puppies. Here, take my feather duster. When you're finished, just give the feather duster back to me, my dear. Thank you, dear. Now that you've cleaned all the puppies, I'll take back that feather duster now, my dear. Thank you, dear. Thank you, dear. You have four new messages. Hello, Roger. John again. How are you, old chum? We just loved your Cruella de Vil video game. We'd really like to speak with you again about that algebra project. Please call us, Roger. Anytime.
search is finally over. 101 missing Dalmatians returned home today after being dognapped earlier this week. Cruella de Vil, the notorious and outspoken fashion designer, has been arrested in connection with the dognapping crime. Film at 11. <coughs> Hello. I know you're going to enjoy this game, Fetch. I created it. These three puppies need your help fetching things from the Mansion to fill so they can get their spots. Right now, you're on level one. Click here to play on level two, or here for level three. To start, click on your puppy in the mansion. Now, use your mouse to move the puppy through the hallways, picking up things that begin with the letter C, which sounds like K. Watch out for Cruella. If she bumps into you, she'll take away one of your things and put it back in the mansion. If you want to take a break or change levels, click the mouse button and the puppy will take a timeout. Ready, set, fetch! Can. Cookie. got his spots. It's time to help the next one. Fetch the items that begin with the letter J, which sounds like... If you want to leave the game, click again on the red fire hydrant. Thanks for playing fetch. I should think we can handle a few more. What do you two think? A hundred and one Dalmatians!
click on this puppy to start the story all over again. Click on this puppy if you're ready to quit. Start over. Quit. Start over. Oh, good. I could hear this story 101 times. <laughs> click on the book. Read and play. Roger needed a mi- I decided to- A mate is a partner, half of a loving pair. For loving and for living, your mate is always there. Bachelors are men who never did marry. Bachelors are men who never were wed. Bachelors are men who might someday get married, but for now, if they're bachelors, they're single instead. Lovely. Good looking. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Pretty. A Dalmatian's a kind of dog that is white and spotted with black. The spots are all over the front and the sides and the tail and the back. Lonely means you're feeling sad because you're all alone. There's no one there to play with you or offer you a bone. Time is moments passing by. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. The seconds, minutes, and the hours are measured on a clock. Garments, fashions, a paddle, clothes, Excuse a park is a place with trees and grass. Back and forth the people pass. They walk their dogs and eat their lunch and give the pigeons stuff to munch. They may have concerts after dark. You know, I really love the park. When Pongo saw Anita, he arranged for Roger to meet her. He set up a plan as only he can. No arrangement could be any neater. Let's make a plan. Let's decide what to do. We'll write it all down and follow it through. It might be a plan to go visit the zoo, but it's sure to be fun if I do it with you. So think it all out. Write it down if you can, and you'll have developed a wonderful plan. Marvelously, swimmingly, splendidly, wonderfully, well. If I've done something awfully good, that's when I'm feeling proud. I stand up tall, throw out my chest, and say it right out loud, I'm proud! Delighted. Joyful. Ecstatic. Happy. Parents are your mother and father. Parents are your mom and dad. They are there to love and teach you and cheer you up when you are sad. A nanny is a sitter who takes care of girls and boys, who gets them dressed and fed and helps them put away their toys, who buttons up their coats and then takes them to the park and tucks them into bed and turns the light out so it's dark. Help is when you lend a hand to give somebody aid. Like squeezing half the lemons when you're making lemonade. Or offering to carry half the bundles from the store. There are so many ways to help. Can you come up with more? You're a f Fooled. 
deceived. Hoodwinked. Trick. A human is a person, not an animal or thing. A man, a woman, or a child, without feathers, fur, or wing. So a dog, a horse, a bird, a fish, a kangaroo, or sheep will never be a human, because a human's always people. Strangers are the many, many people you don't know. You never ever met them, so you never said hello. Because they're strangers, you won't know if they are nice or mean. So wait, because they could be good or bad or in between. Hope is something like a wish. You want it to come true. It's something that you're waiting for. I hope it comes to you. Stolen. Abducted. Quit. Bye-bye for now. Come back soon.